guys, Jonathan here. Um, today we got in a MacBook Pro and it's having some hard drive issues, I believe. So this video is going to show you guys how to replace a hard drive in a MacBook Pro. First thing you want to do is make sure it is the hard drive that is the problem. So I've got this external hard drive I connect through Firewire. The partition I have loading is from another computer. All I did was back it up on the external hard drive and make sure it's formatted for Macs. Um, once it loads, you're just going to log in. When I was first trying to load the operating system from the internal hard drive, I wouldn't even get this far. It would just freeze on a gray screen. So the fact that I've got this far tells me that's probably the hard drive. You then just open Disk Utility. I just tried to um, actually copy it, and as you can see, the hard drive is in red, which means there is an error with the hard drive. A hard drive error is actually one of the best problems you can have because it's a very cheap fix. You can go on eBay and find you know, a 750 gigabyte hard drive for around $60, $70. So now I'm going to show you guys how to fix it. First thing you do is shut off the computer. You're going to flip it over like I've done here. Take out the screws, lift off the back casing. And your hard drive is right here. And as you can see, you have this bracket holding in place with two screws. So you're just going to have to loosen those up. They don't actually come off. And then the whole bracket will come off. You can pull this little piece of plastic and it'll lift your hard drive up. Make sure you don't rip this ribbon. Detach the hard drive. If it isn't the hard drive, that ribbon also sometimes has problems, so you can replace that. I've got the new hard drive right here. I'm just going to plug it in. When you guys do this, you're actually going to take the screws out and replace them in the hard drive. But first, I always like testing it to make sure that it solved my problem. So I'm just going to put the back cover back on right now. and flip it back over and make sure it works. It does appear to have solved the problem because we're loading into OS X. If you don't have an operating system on your new hard drive, you're going to have to install one using an external hard drive, which I will leave in the description below. If you have any questions about this video or any others or have any um, recommendations for videos please leave them in the comments below and if you like the video please subscribe to our channel if you have any macbook pros ipads iphones we buy them at greatbyelectronics.com